In today's video, we have a new inverter system, a Victron Blue Power Multi Plus 48 volts, 3000 VA, 35 amps, 230 volts AC. This can be used in different applications here. Yeah, you can see on this side what we can use it for marine, mobile. Off grid, solar, industry, telecommunication, backup power, and renewable energy. It's made by that company. It's from the Netherlands. Okay. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. So let's go and open up this guy. Now we have the uh, system out and uh, came from. Lithium upgrade. This is where I bought it from. Lithium upgrade. This is the packaging. And here goes the manual and the uh, back plate to mount this system. So when I bought the system, I asked lithium upgrade to upgrade my firmware before sending the, the device. Here is the temperature sensor. Right here is the fan. These are the terminals where the um, knockouts where you pass in some of your cabling. The AC side and here is the DC side. You can see it has a double terminals there. Two negatives, two positives. So there's the ground right here. So let's look at it. This is not like these guys here. This is a multi plus two. Multi plus? What is the multi plus two? These ones are different from the other one I just showed you. So we have the victrons here. Okay guys, this is the plan and I just do, did a rough mountain, set this thing, but I'm going to put some bushings. You guys know me for my rubber bushings always, so I'm going to see if I have more of these. I have to mount this thing off from this um, heavy duty plexi like this one as well, so we can have a massive airflow on the bottom. So we have... Um, solar charge controller with a Bluetooth capability MPPT 15085TR VCAN so we're gonna add another communication here which is gonna be the um, Sovo GX the Sovo uh, the GX S model just like this guy here the Sovo uh, the GXS, the S model, it doesn't have the thing for the temperature sensors right here, so that one doesn't have it. If you're not going to use a VCAN of these functions for BMS, you don't need that at all. So I'm just going to install that and I'm going to be installing the the touch the touch screen the display model so this is the 50 and we might put a 70 or 50 on it so guys this is the plan we want to make sure this install is gonna be a successful one right here at the GW Solar like we always do it and um, thanks for watching stay tuned as I keep installing okay guys now we already mounted the system and this is the only way i can able to get it in vertical i was gonna do it horizontal this way since i'm gonna take more room for down here we're gonna be doing like the um the conduit or the the cable management so we don't have enough spot right here if i put it horizontal so it's gonna be only like this to here 
approximately three four inches see so I decided to go vertical but I can't come all the way up here due to space it's a tight fit it's a 10 10 inches exactly from uh, just this inverter you see that is exactly 10 inches so that's I have to play with to get the numbers I needed I need for the install I have to get this guy in between the grooves right here I got a space between them so the other one on the corner right there see there's a hole right there okay I, I didn't even screw it, but it's underneath the inverter so it's not it's not going anywhere it's not shaking nothing so I can get the exact width so and I decided to bolt the inverter even though I use the mount the mounting bracket at the top here so we have space here for airflow so right there so airflow and um, the transformer is it has two transformers one here and one on the other side right here so let's open up this inverter so you can see exactly what is inside ha so these are the electronics the boards and everything and you have two terminals you can move around a little bit excuse me for the shake you can see a transformer right there like a turret and there's another one right here it's left and right so I was gonna take this charge controller all the way up here not knowing that the transformers on the side I thought is like this um, this guy right here the multi plus two they sitting right in the center okay right on the center not knowing that these guys only have the transformer on the sides and there's a huge fan so there's a bunch of ribbon cables is a switch right here uh, one of my inverters is a 24 volt two or three I think it's a 3000 VA so this one is the one that is broken I don't know if you guys anybody have an idea where I can get this stuff or the entire board I made a video of that before the entire board then I can have these things and one of these lights are broke. This is easy to fix. So through the shipment and everything get messed up. So here the AC in. Bring your wires here for the grid or generator. And here is the AC out. Line one neutral line 2 GW Solar USA thanks for watching love you guys all and stay tuned for more to come live from the channel so far so good this is the progress we've made This is the inside of the inverter. All right, so we got the wired, the wire added for the uh, DC part, the positive and negative. So I think I'm gonna be using the Lynx distributor so I can get a clean install. I think I'll do that. I don't like this 
wire gonna be almost coming down towards the fan right here I don't know if I have to move this one this black wire to here so it can come through down here so that's how I want to do it or I can get the wires go this way kink the wires stay away from the fan so the Lynx distributor is gonna be like down here get him and get the uh, the battery side on this here from here and go to the Lynx distributor and I'm gonna set up the Silver GX here with a display so I can have a clean setup and put a trunk in right here so I can able to remotely see this thing to uh, this communication port right here so we're gonna put back the cover in and call it a day I've here at the command center the JW Solo USA we just install or put together another Victron equipment here it's fun there is a lot of money all right folks the cover is back in and it tells you this inverter you can parallel you can stack it's three of these you have to put together to give you a 9000 VA you can stack it has a transfer capacity of uh, 16 amps 230 volt you have a power assistant you have um, a sine wave inverter in parallel connection you can do a three phase compatibility so you have the inverter up here is on in the middle is off at the bottom is charge only I'm scared of this button I don't like it so if you have someone who's really rough they can ruin this machine for you really quick yeah kind of flimsy I don't like it You have to be patient. You know, get inverter. My multi plus compact something, whatever it's called, the little one. It has a power saving mode. So, I don't like this button at all. So, the inverter, you get a charging. If you're charging here, if you're inverting, it's gonna tell you inverter on, overload, battery low, temperature.